just a quick video. Uh, people that watch my channel will know that I'm uh, my woes with tube testers, vacuum tube testers. Um, I bought one, a uh, Hickok um, TV3, and it was absolutely destroyed inside. Someone had been in there and been mucking about with it, and it was awful. Plus, I didn't like the way the bias uh, was set. It wasn't very accurate. So um, I said on that post that I was going to build a, a valve tester, and uh, this is the carcass of it at the moment. I've got the main board out. Here you have uh, the, the plates, G2, G1K, and filament outputs there. Um, and this I will plug a multimeter into. I haven't got meters on this. I wanted to make it small and compact. And panel meters uh, are really, really expensive in Brazil. So I decided to go with external metering. I've got a couple of good uh, multimeters and I can get hold of another one quite easily. So this is the design that I've come up with. And it's based on um, old, uh, partly on old and news tube tester which uses uh, MOSFETs to adjust the the plate voltage and the screen voltage and partly on my own um, design uh, well not my own design because nothing's your own design really people even design engineers copy other things but I've um, I've got a DC heater there and a DC um, control bias on a LM uh, three three eights for the, the heater circuit which can provide up to four amps I believe and um, the bias uh, will go down to about minus 40 if it needs be on a, a Bourne's pot there and that's on um, LM317 I believe positive regulator here you have the 12AX whatever or 12A star star it can be any any of those um, dual triode um, preamp valves and you can select uh, the triode a or triode b under test this has um, been uh, sort of borrowed from um, valve heavens uh, tube tester so there's bits of a lot of tube testers here um, got the shorts tests there i've got the um, knee on there for the shorts tests and this here is an extra socket uh, with selectable triode a and b and what i'm going to do is um take some wires off of here uh, and put it to a multi-connector under inside um, i can lift this top up and uh, change the wiring and i can actually program this if i have a tube that can't be done with these sockets here I can uh, program uh, this tube inside. A lot of other testers have got um, sort of um, cables coming from these banana jacks, whatever, and you can map it if you like, but I don't like that, it's too messy. The reason why I've got the banana jacks there in the first place is obviously so I can plug my multimeters into. This as well, courtesy of Helgi, who's done another tester, is going to have an audio in and an audio out. Um, I'm going to put an RCA socket there at the moment. It's just a, a normal four millimeter jack. But this can have an input and an output, audio in and out. So I can run a triangle away from a oscilloscope into there and also see what it looks like on the scope and also hear what it sounds like as well. I'm going to use a 10 to 1 resistor ladder on the output to attenuate uh, the plate voltage. Plate voltage in this is going to be 280 volts, uh, controllable by these pots here. And um, yeah, so that's it basically. That lead there is um, coming from the heater board. And basically, if there's any problem with the heater or the fuse goes, that lead won't come on. But normally, when you switch the unit on and off here, the lead will come on. Uh, because it's a lead attached to the heater circuit but and on the back here there's the uh, socket going in and that's there is a fuse holder for the heater circuit the fuse is built into the mains there so 
Um, this is just an empty uh, carcass at the moment. I've got the board um, basically. I've got the beginnings of the board here. Uh, it needs mounting up properly with the pots here. It's just a piece of uh, normal board that I'm going to point to point wire. And it's obviously very tatty at the moment, but uh, this basically is this here is going to be the high tension. It's the MOSFETs which um, control the um, voltage of the light, the screen, and the plate individually. Uh, they're not uh, sort of linked. It's individual because uh, some uh, things under test. Um, normally, they have a fixed resistor for um, for this for uh, the screen, and it's fixed to the um, the plate. And basically, the screen's always so many volts behind the plate. But uh, certain valves um, need a hundred volts. Um, screen and a 200 volt plate or 250 volt plate so it's good to set them independently so that's what these will do um, yeah as in the old and new circuit I've got um, various senos here which will fix the um, fix the voltage coming out of the um, out of this bridge here fix the voltage at um, this is fixed at 255 at the moment the same as old and new um, but I'm going to actually up the voltage there to uh, 280 I'm actually getting 280 volts out of the transformer which I'm having custom built at the moment so it's a 200 volt transformer um, with a 25 uh, 0 25 as well output and the 25025 is going to be fed into here, which is going to go to these LM, uh, LM338 and the LM317 here for the heater and the bias. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm actually going to replace these five here, I'm not make it like old and new. I've actually managed to buy a 150 volt Senna and a 130 volt Senna, so I'm going to wire them in series to make 180 volts stable um, going to these MOSFETs um, so that's about it really I've just got to make this up over a uh, new year I'll be working on this and populating it I've been doing a lot of um, watching a lot of videos or other testers and reading a lot of documents to get it this far and hopefully this will be a lot uh, more accurate than the Hickok TV3 that I had, in fact, I know it well uh, because I'll be able to set the bias. This is a Bourne's pot. The, the bias circuit is very accurate and stable, so I'll be able to set the bias accurately with the G1 blue banana outputs there um, on the multimeter. Be able to set it accurately. I'll be able to just put the, the probes in the plate to see what the play voltage is set that. Um, yeah, I mean, in the future, I'm thinking of putting in uh, two more pots. Uh, one for the plate load, which I'm thinking of being 100k on the plate for the plate load, because at the moment this hasn't got a plate load. And also one for the cathode load, which is a 5k up to 5k pot to adjust the cathode load as well. So, yeah, there's a lot of ideas on here, but uh, I arrived at this designed by watching a lot of different other testers and just um, getting my own ideas um, of what I can implement um, but the, the bulk of it is the old and new um, design um, that I'm following this is for the, the uh, plate voltage variable plate voltage and the, and the variable um, screen voltage this is from that um, as I say, the, the heaters, uh, the triad select there is mainly from Valve Heaven. Uh, the shorts test is also from Old and New. Um, yeah, so there we go. So I should be able to test here basically um, EL34, 6L6, uh, 6V6, 
uh, KT88, all on this uh, socket there. This here will test any uh, 12A series, 12AX7, 1287AU7, um, BH7, I would think. Um, this is EL84, EL86, that sort of thing. Um, so I've got most of the valves covered there. I was going to use this extra socket there to test um, rectifiers, but I think really either a rectifier works or it doesn't. So I don't think it's necessary to do that. But uh, there's, um, I think it's a, a 6, 6SJ7. I think, I think that's the number, but it's a preamp valve, a very early one that I saw in a very old Fender the other day. So... Um, I want to be able to test those as well um, so that I'll be able to program this socket and I know that that particular tube uses a larger type socket there so what I'm going to do is make an adapter so I can adapt these nine pins into this here because um, I haven't really got much more room on here and as I say uh, in the future I'll, I think I'm going to put a couple of pots there one would be the um, the cathode uh, resistor value put a, a capacitor across that obviously and this one will probably be the plate uh, the plate load value um, so you know I've got a bit more room here but it's already quite crowded and this this box this this case here uh, they're very expensive generally but this is just one of these um, cases which um, which has got trip switches in normally, uh, electrical trip switches, one of these meters thing. There used to be a handle here that you could open it up to, if you had a juncture that were tripped, you can move back. So this, this is sort of ideal really. It's very cheap uh, compared to a, a proper case. And um, yeah, I think this is the best way forward, you know, for uh, somebody who hasn't got a lot of money like me, so. Anyway, I hope you learned something from this and I really would recommend having a go at making a tube tester and when this is all done, which should be in hopefully a few weeks, uh, time permitting, um, I'll make another video and demonstrate it.